hi. Hi. How are it's you? good to see you over the Zoom. It's good to see you virtually. You look amazing. So do you. You look so cute. <laughs> I love the tie dye. Um, how are you doing right now with everything? Girl. Well, yeah. Well, right before I got on this call, I just read that stay at home got extended until August. So I'm digesting that. You take it day by day. And I think that some days are harder for others. And I have to keep in perspective, like, I'm just grateful I have sunshine, I have my dog. Um, it's been a little hard doing it alone. Like, we need human connection. And so I think I'm feeling a little, I think we're all feeling it at this point. But staying optimistic, eating a lot of crap food, and yeah, watching a lot of TV. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Are you, so you're alone, you're not even like with family or anything like that. That's gotta be so No, fun. I really should have made the call to go to Tennessee to be with my family, but no one could have predicted that it would go this long. I feel like Tom Hanks in Castaway. Like I'm talking to things that aren't here. It's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're wild times that we're living in. I do want to talk about Katie Keene though. This entire season was such a fun watch. I want to break down the finale with you though. As the new owner of Lacey's, I would like to announce that this establishment will remain open. Prince Errol, or do we just call him Errol now? Saves the day. I, since he has stepped down, yeah, we'll just call him Errol. Although yeah. Prince Errol has a, got a, it's catchy, I like it. I know, yeah. I kind of like saying Prince Errol. Um, yeah. What does that mean for him and Katie Keene? Because they sort of had this a little bit romantic connection, and now he's technically, is he her boss? now he's technically the big boss in charge and uh so katie's got a few men in her life and she's got some options um but i guess you know where we end off the season anything goes like it could easily go in the direction of guy or ko or prince errol so we kind of leave it up to you know, to next season to see what's going to happen. But it definitely, like, I've sort of come up with some narratives in my mind, and it'll just be interesting to see if I'm completely off or not. <laughs> How do you feel like things are really set up for season two? I would assume we're getting that season two, right? Well, yeah. along Maybe. with a lot of other things going on, so much is up in the air. I think the biggest thing with our show now is that it films in New York, and who knows when filming will resume there. So it's kind of... Everything's uncertain, so it's kind of a scary time for a lot of things, but I'm, like I said, remaining optimistic. And the great thing about Katie Keene is that, you know, if and when we get a season two, the show is just so fun. We're singing, we're dancing, we've got romance, we've got drama, we've got fashion. So we leave off in a good spot for everyone in the show, and I think that Katie's taking the next step at becoming a designer. We leave everyone off in a pretty optimistic spot. And I, what I love about the finale is that everyone chooses themselves. Like, they're like, I'm gonna fall in love with myself. I'm gonna fall in love with my dream. And I kind of think that that's cool. What about the whole Leo Lacey situation? Because the very end of the episode, she's like, I think you're my dad. Do you think that that's Katie's dad? You know, we would have given it to him really easy if it is, but I hope so, Be purely based on who they cast. He's amazing. And I love that Katie just immediately jumps to, I think you're my dad. She's, that's just her in a nutshell. She doesn't have a filter. Yeah. And we love her for it, yeah. As of yesterday, I stepped down from the royal family. I'm financially independent. What did you think of the Prince Harry reference? Because obviously Prince Harry, <laughs> you know, no longer Perfect part of timing. Family. Yeah, financially yeah. independent. Um, I know. Did that give you a laugh? <laughs> it definitely did, and I love our show because we have so we have a lot of pop culture references in the show like that, so it was just perfect timing. We needed Prince Harry and Meghan to step away so we could have that lovely storyline in Katie Keene. So we're very grateful. Have you ever yeah. met Meghan Markle or Prince Harry in real life? So get this, I did my first ever pilot with Meghan Markle. What? I didn't realize this because none of my scenes were with her, but it was an ABC pilot when I was, uh, I just moved to LA, I was like 16. It was called Secrets of a Small Town. And she was in that pilot. And I remember at the table read, I was like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. But I don't think I ever spoke to her. Um, but I've never met Prince Harry, only in okay. my dreams. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny <laughs> though, that you guys were in that pilot together. It's and a then, small world. Yeah, look yeah. what's happened now. I, now she's who she is. It's great. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Happy for her. 
Um, that's such a funny story. Yeah. Um, I also have to ask you about Mr. Mark Consuelos appearing. <sighs> Yes. Yeah. Hi, Dream boat. Yes. Uh, so I was sad because my I didn't. Katie wasn't written into that scene, so I didn't get to work with him or meet him. But you know, I love his wife. I love Kelly, and I, I you know met her numerous times. So I was I was looking forward to meeting him, but he missed me this time. We'll have cool. to cross paths in another universe. Yeah. They sort of set it up for more of his character on Katie Keene. Yeah. He's like, it's time for me to come home, essentially. What did yeah. you make of that? I love it. And I think that from what I hear, Riverdale is flash forwarding. So if they're, because our show takes place five years in the future. So if Riverdale and Katie Keene are on the same timeline, I feel like there could be really cool crossovers. I hope, you know, CW's listening <laughs> because <laughs> I've got yes. ideas and Veronica could, co could come to New York and because uh, how they've set it up in Riverdale is that Katie and Veronica are, are. buds, like they're yes. the tie-in. Yeah. yeah. Is there a character on Riverda Riverdale that hasn't been on Katie Keene yet that you would love to see make an appearance? Oh my God, they're all... Yeah. Veronica, obviously Josie. I feel like we need some spicy Cheryl in Katie Keene. I just love yeah. her. I love Madeline and I just... What she's done with that character is so great. And she loves red. Cheryl and Katie both love red and they can bond over red lipstick. Do you guys ever imagine what could have been? Like, what if I would have said yes to K.O.'s proposal? It's funny because in this episode of Katie Keene, you guys sort of posed the question of like, what if, what if you had said yes to K.O.'s proposal? What mm -hmm. if you had done this or that? Is there a role that you said no to that you sort of always wonder like what if I said yes to this I I often have these conversations well I have two I so I I remember I was supposed to go in to read for Pitch Perfect mm -hmm. and I forget why I didn't it was some dumb reason and sure enough that movie was so great I would have killed yeah. to be a part of it but also uh before I took the role of Pretty Little Liars I had to choose between uh, PLL or this other like TV movie. I would be so devastated if I took that TV movie and my whole life would be different. I feel like PLL wouldn't have been what it was without Aria, without you. Aw, well you're sweet, you're sweet. But it would have been sad watching it and being like, damn, I could have been a part of that. Three things that you would want to see in a potential Katie Keene season two. Ooh. Oh goodness, three things. More New York City, more musicals, <laughs> um, um, and crossovers. Like you said, like Riverdale crossovers, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina crossovers. I was just gonna keep say, it open is, there room, yeah. is there room for a Sabrina crossover? Probably not, they're so like different, but we do have, so the guy who plays the devil on Sabrina plays Guy on I Katie know. Keen. There's wild so, comments about that on Twitter, by the way. Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. So he's, he's obviously not playing the devil on Katie Keene, but um, but they do like kind of keep everyone in the universe, which is pretty cool. Not to like make it all about the romances, but fans are invested. Who yes. do you think is better suited for Katie? Is it Guy? Is it Errol? Or is it Ko? I know. I just like, can't she have all three though? Mix um, them together. It's like I see so many. I don't know. It's hard. It's so hard. It's like a huge part of me is like Ko and Katie because they're high school sweethearts, and I'm like, a guy is so sexy and tall, but Errol's got an accent. So I don't know. I, I, I was gonna say like Ko and Katie because it's like we always root for the like the OG, you know? OG.